We are in Dublin. Thanks for coming along with us as we decided today we're going to eat our way through Ireland's capital city. We're going to be trying to find some of the classic Irish dishes here, but we're also trying to explore a couple different neighborhoods. And so we're excited about the spots we have picked out and we're ready to eat because we are very hungry. First things first today, we're going to be starting off with breakfast at a little neighborhood cafe. They had some menu items that I saw that looked very unique and uh, I wanted to go try them. We just put in our order at Two Pups Cafe. I'm getting a breakfast bop. Now, a bop has its origins in Scottish. It's basically a very pillowy soft roll and you put a bunch of delicious breakfast ingredients in there and you've got a great sandwich. Madeline is getting Turkish beetroot eggs. I have no idea what that dish is. Well, here's the aforementioned breakfast bob sandwich. And honestly, one of the most beautiful breakfast sandwiches I've ever seen. We got the egg on there. We got uh, red peppers, onions. There's a piece of sausage and chipotle mayo down there. All right, here we go. Look at that, that. I haven't even tasted it yet and it already tastes good. Wow. Well, I'm gonna be trying to make this sandwich at home. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than it's an absolute labor bomb and a great way to start my day here in Dublin. Here is my uh, Turkish egg breakfast. Absolutely beautiful presentation. We have pickled beetroot, we have beets, we have uh, feta cheese, eggs, and uh, pita. Like, oh, there is a, also like a beetroot yogurt on the bottom too. Oh, that's good. Mm. It's very good. There's a little bit of heat. There's creaminess from the yogurt on the bottom. Pickled beets. I don't really eat a lot of beets, but these are candied and they're sweet. I think they're pretty good. We're gonna pop into St. Patrick's Cathedral. We're gonna check out one of Ireland's most famous churches right here in the heart of Dublin. Well, we're here in St. Patrick's Cathedral and uh, it's quite the beautiful building. And uh, there's also a lot going on. Very busy, very busy in here. Lots to see. very skinny people when they made stairs like this. Maybe we're just Americans. I think it looks like Dumbledore's staircase. By far and away, my favorite part of visiting old churches is the stained glass. I don't even think I could place one piece of stained glass. And it's always amazing how those came together. There's also a really nice park next to St. Patrick's Church. And, uh, in the park you get a really good view of the church. I love old architecture and the buttresses and all that on the church. Um, that's what makes it worth coming to for me. I think the best view of the church is from the park. The park behind St. Patrick's Cathedral is buzzing today and there are four pugs running around 
and I think they're hilarious. That was our quick pop in to St. Patrick's Cathedral. We love visiting old churches like that. It just, to take a minute, take it all in, absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna keep rolling here in Dublin. I think some lunch is in order. For lunch today, we are in the Temple Bar neighborhood and we're heading to Gallagher's Box Tea. They have some great traditional Irish dishes on the menu and that is exactly what we're here for. We also have not had a box tea yet. I'm excited to try a new way to eat potatoes. Well, we just put in our order here at Box Tea. One is getting the Gaelic Box Tea. That box tea is topped with medallions of Irish filet beef and it's covered in a sauce that's mushroom, peppercorn, and cream sauce. I'm getting the stew sampler. Now, lamb stew, beef stew with Guinness, and a dish called coddle. Coddle's a dish that's kind of like really comforting on a cold day. Of course, we're here in Dublin, pretty much at the hottest time of year. It's absolutely beautiful outside, but I really wanted to try coddle when I was here because it's a dish I've never seen before. It actually has black pudding sausage in it, Black pudding, of course, is the sausage that's made with blood in it. So I'm looking forward to trying all those stews. And we wanted to come to this spot because we're getting great examples of traditional Irish dishes. We have beef fillets, we have the beautiful potato pancake beneath it, covered in this mushroom cream sauce. This is, I really haven't eaten a lot of beef on this trip, so I'm pretty excited for that because Irish beef is such a big deal. Beef is cooked perfectly. I'm loving this sauce. I think the box tea is one of my new favorite things. It's just soaking up all this sauce. And it's a whole nother way to eat potatoes. Well, I have my three stews here. I also have three pieces of bread. I have beer bread, stout bread, and of course, soda bread, which we've gotten everywhere here in Ireland. I also have my three stews. This is lamb stew, this is the coddle, and this is the beef stew. We're gonna go coddle first because I've never had it before. It has ham in there and then some black sausage pudding. And I think there are leeks. Kind of looks like a potato soup, maybe a chicken noodle soup. Ooh, the black pudding is definitely a unique flavor. It's not something I'm very familiar with. Next, I'm gonna go with the lamb stew. Um, you can see the slow roasted lamb. You got carrots in there, you got barley. It smells amazing. They have sheep all over this country. Lamb's a very big dish here. That's so savory. And slow roasted lamb. Really, really becoming a dish that I'm enjoying, especially when I'm over here in Ireland. Uh, fresh carrots, barley, um, again, Talking about hearty right here. It's delivering on that. Final one we got here is the beef stew. It looks a lot like the lamb one. Um, looks like we got some celery in there and no barley. It's just a classic flavor. It's just all three of these are just hearty. You can tell there's just a ton of flavor put into these. And I think we're gonna maybe go a little soda bread, almost like a crouton right there. Uh, this feels like that one, this feels like Ireland. A great lunch stop over there at Boxty's. To have a Boxty like that, 
absolute perfection, exactly what we were looking for. And then to try all those different stews, I mean, as you can tell, it's quite sunny behind me right now. Um, it's kind of a hot day to have a warm soup belly. But that said, they were very good. I will say, if you're adventurous, you've never had coddle before, try the coddle. I don't know if it's something I'll be making at home. I haven't fallen in love with the black puddings, uh, the white pudding. I just don't think it's my cup of tea. But part of traveling and exploring new places is trying different foods, and I'm always happy to do so. We thoroughly enjoyed our lunch, and now we're in the mood for a sweet treat. So we're heading over to the Queen of Tarts for some delicious tea and desserts. Our food tours are never complete unless we have a little dessert. We've sat down at the Queen of Tarts, and if your television was 40 and you could smell the baked goods in this place, you'd be a very happy person right now because it smells absolutely wonderful. It smells like the British baking show is going on in here, I guess, but we're in Ireland, so I guess it'd be the Irish baking show is going on in here. Madeline got a Bailey's chocolate chip cheesecake. If there was ever a dessert invented for Madeline, it was a Bailey chocolate chip cheesecake. I think they're well known for it. It looks absolutely beautiful. I got a Queen Victoria sponge cake. It's got raspberries, strawberries, whipped cream, and it's a light sponge. Again, between the smell of the tea, the smell of these cakes, and the smell of the bakery in here, we're having like a perfect, perfect moment here in Dublin. Well, here I go, digging into this Queen Victoria cake. I mean, it's a huge piece of cake. I don't even know where to start, but that looks absolutely delightful. Oh, the whipped cream is so good. You're hearing bells. <laughs> it's the bells of heaven ringing out with love. Uh, just the, the cake is so fluffy. I love the the sauce on there. The sauce? Well, I don't even know what. Fruit. I love this. I love the fruit on there, and this is just the absolute perfect afternoon treat. It pairs perfectly with this tea. Wow. Here is my Bailey's chocolate chip cheesecake absolutely beautiful this kind of looks like a golden snitch on top i i know it's not <laughs> i think it's uh like a persimmon or something i don't know why that's what i think it is let's go in a little whipped cream because it has like a bit of a candy coating on top oh my gosh the cheesecake is so creamy and delicious. And then there's chocolate chips and a uh, like a graham cracker crust. I think that's like the traditional crust, biscuit crust. I love cheesecake. This one's absolutely delicious. It's a perfect setting, perfect little afternoon treat. I don't think I'm gonna share this, although I do want some of this cake. I'm gonna try it. a huge piece of cake they're on the British baking show they're always talking about Victoria sponge here we are it's kind of a denser cake which I like it holds up really well with the uh, fruit in there 
Madeline stole some of my cake, so I'm gonna steal some of her golden snitch cheesecake. <laughs> I think the Bailey's is what's on top of it, right? Maybe. Yeah. That is that is a treat right there. Dublin, you're delivering on the flavors big time. Well, a tremendous stop into the Queen of Tarts. Excellent, sweet treats, good cup of tea. The next spot we're going to, I think is actually gonna be a whiskey distillery. Follow up some cake with some whiskey. Well, that was the old library, Book of Kells, the long room at the old library. Definitely worth a visit. Uh, a beautiful room and seeing the Book of Kells, um, you know, like a piece of art. And that's pretty cool. I really enjoyed the harp. I like the old harp. It's thousands, maybe just a thousand years old. But that'll do it for us here at Trinity College. We're gonna keep exploring. We're gonna go to the distillery now. It was a little steep. It's like 17 or 18 euros to get into there. I don't know if it was quite worth that, um, but you're here, so it's hard to pass up. This afternoon, we are heading over to Teeling Whiskey Distillery. It's right around the corner from our hotel. We're gonna pop in. Check out their bar for some whiskey cocktails. Teeling actually opened in 2015, so for distillery, it's pretty young, and I believe it was the first distillery to be opened in Dublin in 125 years. And of course, a lot of times with whiskey, you get kind of the aged whiskey. You do the math there, they don't have an eight year whiskey, they don't have a 16 year whiskey, they certainly don't have a 25 year whiskey. So a lot of their whiskeys now are young, but they're also starting to get old enough to where they actually have those older whiskeys. So that'll be interesting to see. Well, we've gotten our drinks here at Teeling Distillery, the Bang Bang Bar, and I, I just love that this is a new distillery. Uh, really funky, uh, cool decor in here. They've got some cool sitting areas, and I've got what they call the new fashion. They're definitely leaning into the fact that there's a new kid on the block. By the way, the block is totally under development. It's like all new apartments and condos. Very cool to see. If you come here in five years, it'll be a totally different neighborhood. And 
I've seen this happen a lot where a cool distillery or craft brewery goes into a part of town and the whole part of town gets redeveloped. And I think that's awesome. That's a good drink too. We have enjoyed our fair share of distilleries both in Scotland and here in Ireland. And this is my actual first whiskey cocktail. Everywhere else we've gone, I just drank it straight. But this here is a blood orange smash. Very refreshing because it has been a very hot day here in Dublin. We've enjoyed it thoroughly and it was kind of cold at the start of our Ireland trip and these last few days it has been like 80 degrees and sunny and beautiful. It's kind of hard to leave that nice weather. Fun stop in this Healings Distillery. Definitely a place to check out if you're here in Dublin. It's very walkable from a lot of these city center attractions, which was also nice. Now we're gonna head over to dinner. I'm excited about the spot we have picked out. Uh, it's got kind of an interesting story behind it. And I think that always adds to dinner. Tonight we're going to dinner at a pub called Darkie Kelly's. The interesting story behind it is that Darkie Kelly was basically killed for practicing witchcraft. But then it was found out that she didn't actually practice witchcraft. But she also ran a brothel and they found um, dead bodies underneath the brothel. And so she might have been Ireland's first serial killer or Dublin's first serial killer. So interesting story to name a bar after someone like that. But it's a local pub. We're looking forward to going. They should have live music. And uh, we, believe it or not, are hungry. We've sat down at Dark and Kelly's. I absolutely love this place. The aesthetic, it seems local, which is what we've been looking for. And this pub, already off to a great start. We got our beers. I got a local red ale, Madeline. Skinness. I guess I thought there'd be a logo on there, but it's not. I'm getting a pub favorite over here in the Ireland and British Isles, which is chicken curry. This is a green chicken curry. I haven't seen that, although I'm sure it's more common than I'm guessing, but I absolutely love chicken curry, and I couldn't leave without getting it one last time. Madeline is getting fish and chips because she absolutely loves fish and chips, so we're getting our favorite meals that we've had over here for our last meal. Also, Darky Kelly's has live music, I think, most nights of the week, and they've got some bands starting later this evening, so we're looking forward to taking in live music. I think it's one of those where everyone brings their instrument and they just play songs they know, which that's really what we've been looking forward to seeing, so hopefully that's what it is. How to begin here? This may be the biggest piece of fish I've ever seen in my life. Wow, they're not skimping on the portions tonight. Part of me wants to pick this up and eat it in one piece, but I'm not gonna do that. I think you should. All right, challenge accepted. All right. We'll go from this end here. Because her friends are still This is silly. This is so silly. She was renting. See, she didn't go. She didn't bother. She was renting out of love. The last thing she paid. Fresh fish. Deliciously crispy. I think I'm going to need some help to finish this, but absolutely delicious. I cannot think of a better last meal here tonight in Dublin. A giant piece of fish, a bunch of chips here, we got mushy peas. We got house made tartar sauce. Well, this is my dish. It's the green chicken curry. It's absolutely beautiful and it smells amazing as well. And a lot of times the, the pub curries that you see over here you have like a yellow, orange, brownish sauce on top. This is the first time I've seen green chicken curry. And I'm just going to go right in. We've got bell peppers, chicken, uh, looks like zucchini, onions. 
a lot of veggies. Just, yeah, a lot of veggies. We're just sitting here in this sauce. We'll just get that fully loaded bite. <laughs> That is temperature hot, but it's also got some nice heat from the curry as well. I enjoy this dish, and honestly, it's it's a lot of comfort food, and that's what we've had a lot over here in Ireland. Is a lot of comfort food. The food here in Ireland just kind of wraps you up in a big old hug, and it makes you love this country. And that's what we've enjoyed about every meal that we've had here. Well, our food has been cleared, and the band is about to start. We're gonna stick around, listen to a little bit of music. And uh, as far as pub atmospheres go, it's one of the best ones we've found in Dublin. Tremendous dinner at Darky Kelly's. Madeline and I are having too much fun here in Dublin to shut it down early. So we are actually going to stop at a smaller local pub that we find on the way back to our hotel and uh, have one last Guinness here in Ireland. To finish here in Dublin, Madeline and I stopped at John Fallon, local corner pub, had a snug, not very loud music playing. The focus is beer, particularly one beer. Guinness. Look at this, beautifully sitting above the rim. Mm. And uh, I can't think of a better way to kind of end this beautiful week of Pad Island. I mean, we sound like weathermen, but it was sunny and 70 the entire time we're here. I don't, you can't pull that off without a little luck, right? So, Ireland, thank you for hosting us. You're a wonderful country. Wonderful beer. If you want to see more from our adventures in Ireland, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.